Hello, everyone, and thanks so much for hopping on our parent meeting. Um, as I say every month, I won't be before you long. I um, just want to make sure that I'm giving parents details as they are coming to me and then give you, giving you guys an opportunity to um, follow up with me or ask questions um, if you need clarification on anything. Um, the main thing that I'm seeing... Um, there's a couple of parents that are not reading their emails and text messages. Um, and I know this because sometimes y'all ask me questions that I know I've covered in the text messages and the emails. So you tell them that yourself. Um, so just make sure, especially because we only have a few more weeks left of this season before we um, before we perform and before we have our uh, spring showcase, there's going to be uh, details that I may, I wanna make sure that everybody knows, or just in case anything has changed. Um, for those of you who uh, were reading along with me and following along with the emails, you learned that our, <sighs> our dress rehearsal day had to change because the venue had some, some scheduling issues. And so, um, so people may have shown up on Sunday at the library when we are just going to have a normal Sunday rehearsal on the second because those things changed and it was completely out of my hands. So it's just really is going to be really, really important for um, parents to follow along with those text messages and emails um, because I want to make sure that I'm giving you all as much information as possible, not overloading you with information, um, but making sure that I am doing you know my due diligence and communicating properly because I don't want to catch any parents off guard. Um, it feels like we caught a couple parents off guard with June tuition, um, but that information has been in our March newsletter and our April newsletter. And so I'm hoping now that we are understanding the importance of keeping up with those details that we'll be um, on the same page uh, more often as we close out this season. It's just gonna be really important for um, parents to follow along with that information. Like I said, I'm not gonna bombard you, um, but there will be some things um, that I'll need to update you in real time, especially if we have any changes happening with the showcase or anything like that. Um, but thank you to everybody who is, you know, reading along. Thank you to the families who have already submitted their uh, payment for June tuition. Huge help. It just keeps the, the studio running smoothly and making sure that we're able to continue to give your dancer the quality instruction and giving you the quality service that you have come to expect from, from main attraction. Um, healthy habits. So for our new families, we do um, this campaign. Every time we're getting ready for a showcase, it's called Healthy Habits, where we're removing um, junk food or things that will make it difficult for dancers to give their best performance and replacing those things with healthier options because I tell the dancers, I always tell the dancers, think of your body like a car. And so if you're putting, you know, chips and pop and things like that into your body, that's not the best gas that you need and you're going to run out, um, especially for our dancers who have multiple rehearsal, I'm, I'm sorry, performing in um, multiple classes, they'll need, you know, salad, fruits, veggies, um, lean meats, um, water, Gatorade, um, yogurt, uh, trail mix, nuts, things like that, so that we're giving them the, the right kind of gas uh, so that their car goes the way that it needs to. Some of the older kids, again, have been telling on themselves. Um, I had to fuss at them uh, this week and last week about making sure that they go to bed at a decent hour, making sure that they're turning off their phones and their devices so that they can get the sleep that they need, um, making sure that they get enough hours of sleep and what they're putting in their bodies, because I can tell that some of them are not, are not doing it. And it's going to be easier to tell who's not doing it because, you know, they're going to look tired. They're going to be irritable. They're going to struggle to be able to keep up in class, whether it's physically because they're tired or mentally because their concentration is off. Um, so healthy habits is really um, my attempt to try to make sure that the dancers are 
where they need to be in terms of performance, especially for those dancers who have multiple um, classes, which is about 75 to 80% of the studio. Most of our dancers are in multiple classes. So it's just going to be really important that from now until the day of the showcase, that we're putting those healthy, healthy things in their bodies to make sure that they're getting what they need to finish strong. Um, we got costumes today. A lot of our dancers try on costumes. Um, for the most part, everything looks great. Just a couple costumes here or there that need some alterations, or I might need to exchange it for a different size. But overall, um, the dancers are happy. They look so great in their costumes. I'll be sharing those pictures with you all and also posting them on social media. Um, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, just make sure to hop on our Eventbrite. I've sent that link to you all. It's also available on our um, on our Instagram page, Main Attraction Dance, in our bio. So there's a number of links that I'll be sharing with you all. Um, so if for whatever reason you can't access it in your email, if it's gotten too far down in your timeline, there's a lot of uh, a lot of the links that I've been sharing with you all will also be on our link tree on our Instagram page. Um, I just want to make it as easy as possible for you all so you don't have to do a lot of searching to find the information, just trying to make it uh, more readily available for you. Um, once your dance, so a lot of dancers were able to take their costumes home tonight. Um, we are asking parents to keep them out of sight from the dancers. I know they love getting dressed and putting on these amazing costumes, but we want to make sure that they don't get damaged. They don't get stained. They don't get lost. Um, putting the dancer's initials on the tag of the costume, not the actual costume, because we don't want it to bleed through, um, because we're also trying to make sure that for dress rehearsal and the showcase, that the dancers actually get their costumes back, because everybody's wearing the same costume. So when we have it labeled um, on that tag with their initials, it makes it a little bit easier for the staff and the volunteers that will be in the dressing rooms with them to um, make sure that their the costumes get back to their rightful owner. Um, practicing at home. I love the fact that when I'm looking at our YouTube videos, if we need to update videos as, as the dancers are learning new things, I'm seeing that these videos are getting like 100 views, 150 views. And that makes my heart so happy because I know that that means you all are working with your dancers, making sure that they're ready for rehearsal, practicing at home. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate um, the effort that the parents are putting in, making sure that our dancers are getting that extra practice when they're at home. Um, I think one of the videos had like 175 views. And so just thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate um, you helping us in that effort, just making sure that they're getting everything that they need so that they can be comfortable and confident on stage. It really makes a huge difference. Um, and if you, have not been practicing, it's not too late. Just go to our YouTube page, Main Attraction Studios, and look for the videos under the Spring 24 playlist. All of the videos and the warm-ups, um, stretching videos that we've uh, posted for the dancers, they can literally just follow along. You can put it on the big TV in the living room, on their phone, on a tablet, so that they have access to um, the videos that we've recorded for them in class and it allows them to practice at home. A few more things, we are rolling right through. Um, let me double check the newsletter. While I'm, while I'm pulling up the newsletter, does anybody have any questions? You can feel free to come off mute or you can type them in the chat. This Sunday, do we have practice? No, so there's only a few, um, there's only a few dancers uh, that have practiced this week, it, I mean, this Sunday. No classes on Monday, obviously, for Memorial Day. Um, Sunday, the only dancers that have class are the Shining Stars Ballet and Tap class and the Shining Stars pre-hip-hop class. Um, outside of that, all the other dancers, you know, enjoy the weekend, uh, eat some good food, 
hopefully it's healthy because we're in the healthy habits. <laughs> um, but yeah, the only, really the only reason that I'm having those dancers come is because I, their costumes are running late. And so I want to make sure that we can do a fitting um, so that we have enough time to make any arrangements just in case some of the costumes, there's some issues with the costumes. Um, and then the other group is junior jazz. Um, they'll be rehearsing from 2.45 to 4.45, but it's because we're getting ready for um, a Memorial Day parade. So no other groups in rehearsal on Sun, no, none on Monday, and then only groups on Sunday, uh, Shining Star, so ages three to five, ballet, tap, and hip hop, so that we can get those costumes on them, making sure that they fit properly, and then they will be dismissed after that. So then we won't have we won't go back to our normal schedule for classes until Tuesday of next week. Charmaine, can you repeat? You said two forty five to four forty five for. Oh, for the ju the junior jazz class specifically, dancers that are participating in the Memorial Day parade, and that's on Sunday. Correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, looking through main newsletter. Do we have any more questions? I want to make sure I am addressing everyone. Also, thank you all so much for um, you know, getting your dancers to to class. Um I have unfortunately had to have conversations with a couple of families who are in danger of not participating um, because it is it is a real thing to, to make sure that our dancers are ready. Even though they're young, we want to make sure that they understand the importance of, you know, being on time, being dressed for rehearsal, making a commitment. Um, and so for the most part, parents have been doing a fantastic job with that. So thank you so much for making sure that your dancers are in class so that they can um, learn and prepare and give their best performance for showcase. Miss Charmaine, I had a question. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I I'm driving, so I don't have the actual text message that you sent last week, and I don't know if this is what you were addressing earlier, but far as the week of the mm -hmm. um, performance, you sent out um, a text oh. message about the days that they're going to meet that week. That was yes. a little bit confusing to me. I didn't understand where they supposed to meet Sunday, oh. Monday, and Tuesday, or was everybody meeting a regular class time? And I asked the teacher, she said she was going to um, confirm with you because she said she was also confused. So got it. OK, yes, I can give you clarification on that right now. Let me pull up that schedule. Uh oh, hold on one second. Okay, so um, for since, okay, the main reason that we are still having rehearsals in June is because we couldn't get a venue um, to host us in May because of like graduations and award ceremonies and things like that. And so because our lease was extended, I needed you all to, you know, have had that extra payment in June. And so I wanted to make sure that I'm, I was giving you guys extra classes in the month of June to give you kind of like a full month of classes, if that makes sense. Um, Cause our studio policy asks families to do um, pay for the full month if we're able to offer you at least three or more classes in that month. So the class, everybody is gonna have a rehearsal on Thursday cause that's our dress rehearsal. Everyone is going to meet on their normal class day. And then we will have a couple extra rehearsals during that week um, to make sure that everybody is ready for showcase. So Sunday, June 2nd, we will have our normal rehearsal day, um, our normal rehearsal schedule. And then we're going to add a few classes in addition to our normal schedule. So Sunday the 2nd, will be um, superstars hip hop. So our six to eight year olds, they will meet from 2.45 to 
as well as um so our all of our Tuesday hip hop classes will also meet on Sunday. Um, so superstars ages six to eight from two forty five to three thirty, and then our nine to fifteen year olds that normally meet Tuesday nights they will also meet um, on Sunday three thirty to four fifteen. So they will have their normal Tuesday rehearsal. They'll have this additional Sunday rehearsal, and they'll have Thursday dress rehearsal. Does that make more sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and I will, I'll send it again as we get closer to, closer to the date, but I, I wanted to send it before we had the, um, before we had our parent meeting. So you at least had an opportunity to see it, wrap your mind around it in case, you know, families needed to make transportation arrangements, if dancers or other little ones that you have have other things going on. This is just me trying to give you guys advance notice so that if there's any arrangements or adjustments that need to be made, you have like about two weeks to to get that done. I just didn't I didn't want to just spring it on you guys. All right. Will Kaya be able to try on her costume for Tuesday practice? Her um. So her ballet costume might not be here. Her uh, that ballet class is one of the um, costumes that are late in the in the mail. So I've been you know following up with the tracking, and it's moving along into the different warehouses and on the different routes. Um, it just the date of when it's going to be delivered is changing because of. I don't even know why, but that class is one of the ones that's gonna, that's mixed up in the the tracking issues in the mail. So they will have it by the time the performance comes. Oh yeah, they'll definitely have it by the, by the performance. Um, this just it might not be here this week. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um. All right, friends, we are almost done. Um, for my love bugs who are participating in the Memorial Day Parade, I have been reaching out to Shaker City Hall and haven't heard anything. So I will follow up again tomorrow. Um, I know the parade starts at nine. So I'm going to assume that we'll need to um, we'll need to arrive by like eight, no later than 8.15. Um, the meeting spot, normally is the um the RTA rapid stop that's on the corner of um Van Aken and um Lee Road. So over by the Shaker Public Library, that that rapid stop is normally where everyone that's participating in the parade assembles and starts their lineup and it goes from there up to Thornton Park. So the great thing about that is um, it's on the rapid line. So you have one of two options. You can either park your car at Thornton Park and ride the rapid down or walk it. <laughs> you can park, um, you can park probably at the library, leave your car there, walk with us up to Thornton Park and then catch the rapid down. Um, however you want to work that out. I will also try to haul as many tiny humans in my car as possible because my car will also be riding with us in the parade. Um, but yeah, I'm going to assume around 8 to 8.15, um, showcase face, showcase hair, um, ALDF costume. And once I get more details, I will give you guys more in case any of that is different from what I am normally uh, what I'm assuming is happening based on what is our norm for getting ready and like what the logistics are. But yeah, once they finally respond to me, I will update you guys if there's any changes to the information that I just gave you. Okay, I have one question about that. I don't know mm -hmm. if I signed higher up for that or not. Like I'll be it's getting so many of the messages. I don't really know sometimes what to respond to or what not to respond to due to what part she's in 
Yeah, she's not she's not a part. She's not doing the parade. That's only for um kids uh nine and up. So in the older level class. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we got tuition, healthy habits, uh scheduling, costumes on the way if they're not here already, YouTube channel practicing at home. Last but not least summer camp i'm really excited about summer camp um so i had a couple families in our older age group who communicated that they didn't know if they would be able to do um the monday through friday elite camp that's what we're calling it to help me keep it all straight so elite camp is monday through friday for the five weeks and then our Dazzle Camp is either a Saturday afternoon, Saturday, no, not Saturday, Sunday afternoon or Monday evening. Um, I've created a second um, class on Sundays and Mondays for our older girls. If for whatever reason they can't do the full five weeks of elite camp, I want to make sure that they're still able to um, have class, keep their skills tight and be ready to hit the ground running once we start our fall semester in August. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about Dazzle Camp. I know I've sent out a lot of information about it, but I wanna make sure that you all are understanding you know, what's happening, what the classes are, who they're for, what will be a part of the camps um, for the summer classes and all of those things. So let me know what your, what your questions are for uh, Dazzle Camp this summer. I see somebody come off mute. Miss Frazier, did you have a question? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I couldn't hear you before, but I can hear you now. Okay. So uh, I had a quick question. How far are you into completing the fall schedule? Because I work at the hospital, and since I'm her designated driver, um, our schedule is already out to the, I think, August the 22nd. So I'm like trying to make sure I can get her to practice and about how long do you think it'll be before you can have an idea of what the fall schedule is going to look like? Yes. So fall schedule has been, I've, I've, 95% done with it. Um, my plan is to release it at the showcase. Um, I realized I've been giving you guys a lot of information, so I was trying to hold off for a little bit so as to not bombard you with details, but I can, um, for Lamaya, her schedule is going to be really similar to what it is already with the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah. So I, I, I think her, her schedule is going to be very similar to what it already is. Um, for all the families who completed those, um, the surveys that I gave you all, most of you indicated that um, our current schedule worked really well for you already. And so I, I worked really hard to try to keep um, fall schedule at really close to what we're already doing um, to make it easy for you all. Yep. And if I, um, I should actually be able to give you um, for like the older kids, our juniors and our seniors, I should be able to give that to you all by the end of this month. Um, like I said, I'm like 95% done with it. Um, just waiting to hear back from some of our teachers regarding their availability. We have some teachers who go to school in Cleveland, but don't live in the area. So trying to figure out when they're going to be back and back in fall and all that. Semester. And so once I, once they get that to me, probably by the end of this week, I should have that to you when we get back after like our Labor Day break. Thank you. I mean, not Labor Day, Jesus, Memorial Day Memorial break. Day. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, Labor Day, woo. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and CB, who is CB? It's me, it's me, the Jackson. Oh, mom. okay. Hey, doll, what's I up? Just have a, I just have a quick question in regards to like, when will we know if like junior kids are staying at junior level um, and maybe splitting their time like they did this season or if they're moving over, like how will we know which classes they should be 
signing up for, essentially? So, what level? Um, yes, that's a perfect question. We have um, all of our teachers are finishing up their progress reports. Um, so with those checklists that I created for you guys, even though we are not officially rolling them out until fall. I've been um, sharing them with our teachers to let them know like where I would like for all of our kids to be and what we're expecting them to know depending on which level they're in. And so they're using those checklists to create progress reports for you all. Um, so they have been working on them myself included. Last week and this week, we're hoping to be able to give them to you as soon as we get back from our Memorial Day break, and it will have our recommendations for a uh, summer and fall semester on there. Thank you. Other questions? Hi, Charmaine. Hey. Um, do you know when um, summer camp enrollment is going to begin or take place? Mm -hmm. So, most and um, any sorry, information about payments for that and, and payments for that or however that's going to look and so forth? Yes. Um, I just finished the the payment schedule and everything for that. Um, that will be, and that'll be for next week for you guys as well. Um, so in my mind, I just needed to get through this parade and finishing up the the the, the schedule changes that I needed to make because the library threw us that that curveball. Um, but now that I have you know, figured all that out, we will have, I'll have that newsletter to you guys of like the dates of everything, how much it costs and the payment schedule for that as well. All of that will be next week. Okay, thanks. Mm Is there anyone on the call who wasn't sure if they were doing um, Dazzle Camp and now they know and they have an update for me regarding yes or no with their schedule? Because I know a lot of families said that they were traveling, so they were trying to make sure they had um, their dates correct for that before they told me which summer camp they were going to be participating in. Or feel free to text me offline if you don't want to share during the meeting. Um, but yeah, so for any families who are who are on the fence and trying to figure out travel plans for the summer, if you could please, please, please um let me know by like Memorial Day, because we're having um we're having an open house in June. And I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys priority registration, obviously. Um, that way we'll know for open house how many more families we're looking to um we're looking to bring on for for summer. But yeah, I definitely want to give you guys priority registration. So if you for anybody who was still trying to figure out travel travel arrangements and things of that sort, if you all could let me know um when we come back after Labor Day, that would be greatly appreciated. Can you just um say again? So I know there's like the elite camp is like junior senior, mm -hmm. and you're saying is there there's another option for that age group that would be like Sunday Monday? Is that what you were saying? Yes. And then Actually, what are like what are the times of that? Yep, let's do that. I'm gonna pull that up now because I have it done. So because y'all know me, I'm super anal. I've been I had this stuff done for like weeks at this point. All right, let's share. So here is the Dazzle newsletter. This is what we'll be giving to um, families who join um, for our open house in June and all that jazz. So, no, that's the wrong one. Close, stop share. Where to go? Ha, ah, okay, just kidding, take two.
There we go. Okay. Okay. So we have Dazzle Elite Camp for ages 7 to 16. We'll run for five weeks, June 24th through the 26th, um, every Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4. So that schedule, um, breakfast, drop off from 8.30 to 9, our reading program, 9.30 to 11.30, lunch, and then classes from 12.30 to 4, and then they are picked up at 4 o'clock. Um, I've had a couple families um, in that same age group who's like, we want to do camp. We don't know if we can commit to the full five weeks. So I've created this group um, down here, like combining the superstars and like beginner juniors, um, ages 7 to 11. So they, they have ballet jazz Sundays from 2 to 4.15. And then there's an acro cheer hip hop combo class Mondays, 5.15 to 6.45. So this, um, these are the groups, sorry, these are the classes for that group of older kids who not sure if they'll be able to do the full five weeks of elite camp. And so that 200 is for the entire summer. So there will also be a five, that's also five weeks. Um, and because we're like shoving in so many classes, like combo classes, we'll need multiple teachers and all that jazz. And so that's for so the whole that, that's Only for the experienced dancers that already know or... No, nope, it's open. Oh. No, it's open to everyone. So we have... The older dancers who, you know, want to, you know, dance, but for whatever reason can't do the full five weeks. So this is for them. We are also bringing in new dancers to that age group as well. So if they're already at the studio, we're considering them returners. Um, and that's why the program is five weeks, because if, even if we have new kids join the class, we'll have, you know, full five weeks to get them used to how we roll at the studio. Hopefully they'll roll into fall semester and all that jazz. Okay, and acro, what is it? Acro and cheer will be, will it be a class for next year? Yes. Or in next year? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, I've, I've had too many kids leave me in the fall. I'm like, we're doing cheer. Well, we doing cheer here too. So come on. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, and so yeah, so for the, um, the weekly camp that's just on Sunday afternoons and Monday evenings, we have that for ages three to four, ages five to six, and for ages seven to 11. And so the payment schedule, um, so every Sunday, like we do now, um, but since it's only five weeks, then there's a, a weekly payment. So you you have the option of paying it all up front or doing a half and half, or if you wanna do a weekly payment, you can follow along um, with the Sunday schedule of June 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, um, costume fees on the 30th, July 7th, as long as everything is paid in full by the 14th because the last day of camp, uh, Sunday, July 28th, we'll be having a summer performance, just so you all can see like everything we've been working on during that summer. Um, and it'll be at the library. So the same place we're having our spring showcase in June, we'll also have a small summer performance for, um, for the July summer camps as well. Okay, and is that for both um, camps? The Is that mm -hmm. only for camp or the ones because I know Kaylee wants to do the um cheer camp and that's just on Mondays but will she okay yeah so yeah everybody who is participating in any camp whether it's elite or just the weekly everybody will be participating in that in that performance so yeah they'll they'll have like something that we'll prepare with them for them um and they'll have a presentation for the for the performance as well okay Oh, yeah, we want to give them as many performance opportunities as possible. All right, so is this making sense? Everybody on the same page? So, yeah, I just had 
I, I know this has been a, a really long semester, especially since we had to add a couple of weeks going into June, and that is not our normal. So I realize you guys want to have a summer. I do too, but I'm going to miss my kids. So I need to have something, even for the ones who will be traveling, like, okay, you'll be traveling, but you'll be here with us at, at least a little bit because I can't go the whole summer without seeing y'all. That's not, my little heart can't take that. So <laughs> all right, friends, we are, oh, more questions? I have one question. Yes. For the um summer camp, is it one twenty five for each class for the costume? Or... Oh no 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 no. Um no, that's too much. Um, I was trying to read. I didn't think yeah. so. You know, Zaya does everything, so I'm yes. like, she was like, mm -mm, carry the one. That's a lot. <laughs> Like, wait a minute. I know this is the first time for the camp and I love it and I'm excited. I'm just, you know, mentally preparing. Um, you know. Yeah. So since we'll have a, a smaller group, I will I'll be looking into like those two in one costumes to see okay. like I've I have a couple other studio owner friends who are like do the two in ones, do the two in ones, and I'm just now finding out about them. So I'm okay, trying okay. to see if we can make this work from now on, um, depending on like what they look like. And so okay. I'll be using the you, I'll be using the summer to kind of experiment with okay. like how we can still make that work. So for right now, it's just the one twenty five. Um, okay, I will. I'll keep you. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, if in the loop, yeah. To change. yeah. Always do. I just was thinking because you know, I use it. I'm excited because it's new, you know, yeah. and it it is. She's excited. I just was, you know, that was yes. the only question. She asked I me about. She asked me something about camp today, and she was like, "Okay, so when we do camp, I'm like, you are so excited, and I love this." Yes, group. I'm like, like this. Wait, it's it's gonna be a few weeks after you. Right, get out we got a little bit time, babe. We got a little bit of time. <laughs> I'm really excited. Like, not only am I excited about the dance in the afternoons, I'm really excited about this reading program. Um, I've been doing a program like this for another organization for a couple of years now, and it it's really helpful. Um, okay. It doesn't necessarily teach the kids to read, um, but it gives them stories that are a lot more relatable to okay. like them as dancers or them as girls and things like that. And so I'm really excited about the books that I've chosen. Um, oh. I'm cranking out all these lesson plans. I was like, look at me. I'm creating a whole curriculum. <laughs> hmm. That's good though. That's good that you are even incorporating that in the, with the dancing aspect. So it's still, they're still having fun, but learning at mm -hmm. the same time. So that's kudos yeah. and hats off to you. Thank you. Uh, summer learning loss is a really is like a a passion of mine to try to find a way to you know stave that off as much as possible because you know if the kids are not doing anything that's academically simulating they'll lose a lot of the skills that they've learned over the school year and so those first two months of the new school year most teachers are just spending reviewing what they've already learned because they don't really they're, for a lot of kids who don't have like academically stimulating programs, they're losing a lot of those skills. And so I'm noticing that with dancers as a studio owner and then being an educator, I'm noticing that with academics as well. So I'm trying to put it all together. Um, we're not losing academic skills. We're not losing dance skills. Everybody's going to be great is the goal. Lots, lots of work though. I would, it's, it's not easy. All right, good people. I love that y'all are excited about this because I'm really excited about this. So thank you all so much. Thank you to everybody who has already committed to summer camp, whether it's elite all day or weekly any way, shape, or form, I'm really, really thankful. I've been trying to do a camp like this for years, and we just, we didn't have the people, or we didn't have the space, or 
a number of, of different things, but um, I'm really, really excited and I appreciate all of you who have already committed. Um, thank you so much. I just have one question. Mm -hmm. I know you, um, I saw the thing about the skate party for tonight. Mm -hmm. yes. So the price for the skate party, does that include like skate rental? Because my daughter has skates. So would that change the price? think it would. I would have to, um, I'll follow up with them to make sure. Um, thank you so much because I forgot to say that. Um, so our end of the year party, um, June 9th, will be at United Skates in Wycliffe. Um, we went there in January for my birthday. I had a, a party with my kids because I'm a big kid. And we had such a good time. The kids really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm like we'll do it again june 9th the day after the showcase um and it's only 15 dollars per person um but i don't know if the price changes if she has her own skates i will i'm gonna write that down and follow and follow up with them and i should be able to let you guys know also i'm only seeing iphone 6 who is that that just asked that question that's brandy the son of mom hey okay yeah i will um I will try to follow up with them and um, I'll let you guys know if there's a price change if uh, the dancer has her own skates. All right. I had a question about the three to five year old summer mm -hmm. camp. So what will their day look like? Um, are they doing a reading program? Yes. I know Mercy's three, so she's not necessarily reading yet. Mm -hmm. So for the younger kids, um, so all of the kids like three to 10, um, the teacher is reading the story to them. And so we're just asking questions to make sure that they're understanding what's going on. Um, so like those who, who, what, where questions, like who's in the story? What did they just do? What's this person's name again? Da, da, da. Um, and then we're doing what's called literacy enrichment activities where either they're like learning how to write or doing some sort of art project, but that activity goes back to some, that something that we read that was tied to the story. Um, so that's how that'll go for the younger kids. And then the older kids have chapter books. Um, so they'll be reading themselves and we just give them guided questions to make sure that they're reading for comprehension and they're able to um, grasp the story. But for all the younger kids, the teachers are reading the story to them. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have really good questions. I appreciate y'all being so engaged tonight. Not that y'all are not engaged normally, but like y'all are on it tonight. Other questions? Going once, going twice. Okay. Um, so last thing, we'll have those progress reports for you all, hopefully by um, by Tuesday, when we get back from our um, mini break. Um, parade families, I will try to get some more details from you from the city. And I will send out that newsletter that I just shared with you all at the top of next week, unless you um, really need it now and you want to just have it to review the the information. Um, like I said, I try not to try not to bombard you guys with a ton of uh, text messages or emails during the week. So that was the one that I had scheduled for for next week. Um, but if you really want it, I can give it to you early, no issue. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for um, hopping on tonight. Thank you for your amazing questions. Um, you guys were really locked in and I appreciate it. Um, and I will see you tomorrow or whenever you drop your dancer off. <laughs> Miss Charmaine, it's Shamika. Yes. I would, I would love to have that early. <laughs> the earlier I can get things, the, the sooner I can make my client schedule. So that would be super helpful for me because I'm trying to decide um, 
what hours I might offer once school starts back. Gotcha. Um, have, have you changed your mind about camp? What, the Sunday, Monday? No, like Jackson doesn't want to go to the other camp. She, now listen. <laughs> We gonna drive five minutes in that twenty five minutes. Okay, I'm just saying. Just, just saying. <laughs> we both just saying. <laughs> we both just saying. All right, everyone. So, have a good evening. I will say. So, do you need the? Do you want summer or do you want the fall schedule? I would, if you have it, I would love the summer reading list and the fall schedule. Okay, I am about 75% done with the summer reading list and okay. I can give you what I got. Okay, I just would love for her to, to read that alongside um, everyone else so that she, you know. Okay, do you want the, do you want the chapter book or the book for her? Because I, I feel like, like we have books for her age group, but I feel like she's a chapter book girl. Oh, she is. She, uh, even though she's in fourth grade, she's actually in fifth grade reading class. So next year she's in sixth grade reading class. So love that, love that. Yeah. So no. So the chapter book she would fly through. So that that's fine. Cool, cool. So and yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you the chapter book list that the um that I'll have like Camille and them reading. Perfect. That'll be perfect. Okay. All right. Thank All you, right, everyone. Have a good evening. Thank you.